A South Florida veteran is one of the few who can recall the most wicked history of the world, like World War II. Yeah, in a few weeks, she's celebrating a massive milestone. She's turning 100 years old. CBS 4's Gabriela Zola sat down with her to give her a sweet surprise. <laughs> When you meet Edith Deletto Van Cherry. My favorite thing to do was play poker. You probably wouldn't think this lady likes to drink her scotch straight or that her favorite thing to eat is rare steak and spaghetti, but almost definitely you wouldn't be able to guess her age. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm going to be 100, but then I do because I forget a lot. But what she does remember is nothing short of amazing. Edith was born in New Jersey in 1923, enlisted in the Army to be a nurse at just 20 years old. Now, keep in mind, she stood tall at 4'11 and a half. I was a half inch too short, so I had to sign a waiver. It was World War II. She was based in India and remembers caring for wounded soldiers like it was yesterday. He was in my arms, and he looked up at me and he smiled and he died. And that, that was a pretty bad day. After two years of being a nurse, the war ended. So she got married, moved to Hialeah, and had four wonderful kids who've had kids and great grandkids. Edith stayed being a nurse for years. But there was something else that truly made her heart beat. So I also hear that you're a big sports fan. A Miami Dolphins sports fan, to be exact. She's seen every game for decades. Edith says she's their number one fan, and who can really argue with that? Who's that dashing young man? That's Dan Marino, my idol. So for her birthday, we reached out to some former Dolphins players. Hello, Edith. Nat Moore here. It's Kimbo Camper, 100 years old. Congratulations. And I just want to wish you a happy birthday. What do you Oh my God. <laughs> we spent hours with Edith and her family, going from story to story that's shaped her for almost a century. I've had a wonderful, wonderful life. Her advice to the younger generations? Just be fair to yourself and, and just, just see good in everybody. She says a century's worth of wisdom is to always live in the moment. I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS 4 News.